Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. SEAC retired John Wayne Troxell here, and this is Motivation Monday, brought to you by Veterans Lending Group. Today is Memorial Day, and today is not about motivation. Today is about remembering. Today is about honoring. Today is about being somber, because today, Memorial Day, we honor those that have made the ultimate sacrifice. I'm here on Joint Base Lewis-McChord, Washington, at the 4th Striker Brigade 2ID Memorial, the brigade that I had the honor of serving as the Brigade Command Sergeant Major for during the surge in Iraq in 2007 and 8. And to my pleasure, who do I see out here but a fellow Raider that I fought with in combat, one of our Tomahawks, Specialist Guy Stewart. How you doing, brother? Good, Sergeant Major. How are you? Thank you for being here today. So, as we look at our memorial here and we think about our brothers and sisters, who stands out to you? Even though all 54 are important, who's one that really stands out for you here? Uh, for me, it's Sergeant Dahl. Uh, we we grew up together in the Army, and he, uh, he was a couple days away from going on leave to meet his daughter, uh, who was born while we were deployed. And uh, he was taken out by a sniper on June 23rd, and he never got home to meet her. Well, you know, uh, that's a tragic story. And you know who stands out to me? All 54 have a place in my heart always. But for me, I think about people like PFC Ferrero and Corporal Lee and Corporal Nelson from Bravo 138, who were all killed in Bakuba by a suicide vest. And I also think about my guy. The worst day of my life, 19 July 2007, when my patrol was hit and we lost a good man, Corporal Brandon Craig. Um, and I think about the families of all of these men and women and the sacrifices that these men and women or these men made and what their families are going through. So on Memorial Day today, we choose to celebrate life of these 54 men and and what the best thing that we can do, those of us that are still walking on this earth, is to honor the memory of not only these 54 like Guy and I do, but the thousands upon thousands of other men and women that have made the ultimate sacrifice for freedom and our way of life. And we can't forget about the Gold Star families and the pain they endure every day. And the best thing we can do is honor them as well and pray that the Almighty will ease their pain and give them some kind of solace, uh, knowing that their, their lost loved ones uh, did great for our country. So, Guy, great seeing you, brother. Good God bless you. you. Good to see you, Sergeant Major. All right, and we're going to stay in touch. Have a great week, everybody.